If you're a gamer looking for a free and open source app to record your gameplay footage, you can't go wrong with OBS Studio. Used and supported by professionals worldwide, this flexible tool is used for everything from live streaming to studio recording. So if you want to use it to record your games, here's what you need to do. To start, download and set up OBS from the link in the description below if it's not already installed. Once the site loads, just click on your OS to start downloading the installer, then install the software once it's done. After that, open the app if it's not already open, and you'll be prompted to set your default settings through its auto configuration menu. For your first setting, choose Optimize just for recording, then hit Next. You'll then be asked to check your video settings. Double check to make sure you're satisfied with them before clicking Next. The app will then test your settings before showing you a final overview. Feel free to look this over, then click Apply Settings once you're satisfied. Once that's done, start up your game, then navigate back to OBS Studio to set what you want to record. If your game runs in full screen mode, hold down Alt, then tap Tab until OBS Studio is selected. Once it loads up, under the Sources menu at the bottom left, Click on the plus icon to add your game by selecting Game Capture, then clicking OK on the window that pops up. On the Settings window that pops up after that, set your mode to capture a specific window, then select your game from the drop-down menu that appears underneath it. If you know what you're doing, feel free to look through and adjust any of the settings listed below. Once you're set, click OK and your game screen should pop up on OBS. If nothing pops up, exit out of OBS and run it as an administrator to fix the issue on Windows. If you're on a Mac, you may have to give OBS permission to see and record your screen. Close the program, click on the Apple menu at the top left, then select System Preferences. Once the window pops up, select the Security and Privacy tab. On the window that pops up next, scroll down on the left-hand menu and click on Screen Recording. Ensure that the box next to OBS is checked. If it isn't, check the box and the issue will be solved when you restart. From here, you can adjust how your game screen is displayed on OBS by clicking and dragging on any of the red dots along the red border while it's selected. To reposition it, simply click and drag the screen itself. When it comes to sound, the app detects any integrated microphone and speaker output automatically and records by default. If you don't want to record your voice or sound that plays from programs and videos, click on the speaker icon under mic or desktop audio respectively. Once this is all set up, the app will save your settings for future recording. Now that it's set up, recording your video is pretty straightforward. To start recording a video, just click on Start Recording at the bottom right and minimize the app. Once you're done, bring it back up and click on Stop Recording on the same menu. To access your recorded videos, click on File at the top left, then select Show Recordings. If you liked this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering OBS and other technology. And don't forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.